I wasn't very nervous until it was my turn to go on stage and there's so many things going through your head. You're trying to remember your cues, you're trying to make sure that your costume's straight before you go on stage. much have to make sure you're right before you hit the stage. When they announced me when I had my helmet on, I, I didn't know at the time. And then it was quick, get on stage. Craig, you are not compatible. You will be deleted. I don't really remember what I did. <laughs> Except that I remember walking kind of forward instead of just standing in the middle. So they liked it. Being it was my first costume contest, I didn't know what I was up against. And uh, there was a lot more in my category than I originally thought. And there was some really good costumes. So it's, it still hasn't quite sunk in yet that I won it, to be honest with you. So I went back to my apartment this morning to check in with the office and make sure that my headdress showed up because it was supposed to show up on Thursday morning. Didn't show up on Friday, obviously it was a holiday. Saturday I got there probably around 11 o'clock and the mail hadn't dropped yet. So I had no idea where my headdress was. Um, and my my like tech and workmanship was supposed to be at two o'clock. So I would have had to been in costume, you know, starting to do makeup and stuff around 12.30. So I'm like, I've got 45 minutes before time's up. So I just was like, all right, I'm calling it. I went judge's choice. Felt like forever back there just waiting to find out if we had won, if we had placed. I think everybody was getting anxious and when they called our names, we were, we were all like, why are they calling our names? And then we all lined up, we went out there and no one told me what to do, what to say or anything. So I walked out there going, I'm here and, and then they gave me this. So I was like, oh, I'm getting a prize. <laughs> so it was pretty cool. It went so fast. I did miss one of my cues, but I don't think anybody caught it. I, from what I was told, I, they said I was spot on with my cues, but I know I missed one. What did you miss? Uh, one of my steps. Oh. Well, the Cybermen, they've got a very iconic footstep sound, and I had that in my backing soundtrack, and I was moving to them, and I missed one of the steps. It was the last step, luckily, so I stepped without the sound. So. I, after watching all of Masquerade, was really pleased with how my outfit turned out and I felt like I would have been on par with the people and that my performance would have been fine, so that was good for me internally. The downside of not getting into Masquerade is that I spent all weekend trying to preserve this outfit so that when it, workmanship happened I would get, you know, good marks on it. And I haven't been wearing it. So this whole thing was to help get my designer props for the hard work she did, and I wore my dress once. Not sure, I, I, I love the excitement. Um, the camaraderie backstage was great. It, I, I didn't know what to expect, but I really enjoyed it. Um, being this was my first costume contest, I was considered a novice. Now I'm not a novice anymore, according to the rules. So it, I don't know, next year's gonna be tough if I come back. I, it took up my whole Saturday. And I don't know if I'd wanna give up a whole day again, but um, it's something I wanted to do and uh, I'm glad I did it. Next year, because the theme is more of a villain theme, I might actually shelf the Titania costume and commission a queen map. So we'll see. It'll take me some time to save money. That um, The costume pretty much drowned my entire tax return and then some. So I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do anything bigger than this. And I really like outdoing myself each time. Even though it wasn't my work, it was a really good collaboration piece. And I just, you know, I always want to do one step better. I hope to come back next year. I'm hoping to, um, I guess, uh, go home in the black. <laughs> um, and I'm excited about Comic-Con. I've learned that the least amount of time on stage is the best thing for me.